So you killed the chief, you bastard! Liquid? No, you're not. Don't move! Is this the first time you ever pointed a gun at a person? Your hands are shaking. <sighs> Can you shoot me, rookie? Careful. I'm no rookie. Liar. That nervous glance. That scared look in your eyes. They're rookies' eyes if I ever saw them. You've never shot a person, am I right? You talk too much. You haven't even taken the safety off, rookie. I told you I'm no rookie! <sighs> You're not one of them, are you? Open that door. You've got a card, don't you? Why? So we can get the hell out of here! Looks like we'll be a little delayed. What are you doing? Don't think! Shoot! What are you waiting for? Shoot! Don't talk to me like a rookie! I'm telling you, shoot! Detonation code. Boss, I have a good idea. just had some kind of hallucination. Is it from the nanomachines? No, Snake. The nanomachines are functioning properly. So what was it? It must have been psychometric interference coming from Psychomantis, Foxhound Psychic. Think of it as a mental feedback loop. So that was Mantis.
snake. Psycho Mantis has the power to read people's minds. He got the DARPA chief's detonation code. Hurry up or he'll get Baker's code too. That's right. If the terrorists get Baker's code, they'll be able to launch that nuke anytime they want. Yeah, they'll use Metal Gear to do it. Colonel, did you know they were conducting a military exercise here using Metal Gear? I didn't know. Really? Snake, you've got to understand. I'm just the middleman in this operation. Anyway, hurry up and get to the second floor basement. You've got to save the arms tech president before the terrorists find out his code. It's also important to be able to control your bodily functions. You never know when a long demo is about to begin. So make sure you're prepared to sit in front of the monitor for a long time if necessary. They were conducting exercise. What is it, Snake? Snake, like Shakespeare said, Nought's had all spent, while our desire is got without content. Basically, it means that your desire can get you into trouble if you're not careful. That goes for items, too. Don't get too greedy or you might be sorry. Be careful, Snake.
What is it, Snake? Good luck, Snake. Anyway, hurry up and get to the...
way. Hurry up and get to the second floor basement. You've got to save the arms tech president.
If what the DARPA chief said is true, President Baker should be up ahead. Hurry up and get him out of there. It's never a good idea to fight on too full a stomach. It'll make you logy, maybe even sleepy. You should wait 30 minutes after eating before you play. That is C4 explosive, a plastic explosive with a texture similar to clay. So you can shape it in almost any way you want. Although it has 1.4 times the destructive power of dynamite, it is highly stable and won't explode without a detonating device, even if it is shot, burned, or beaten. You are using a wireless detonator, yes? The detonator is equipped with a scrambler, so you don't have to worry about interference from any other radio source. Make sure you are sufficiently far enough away when it goes off, also. As you know, the sound of the explosive will alert your enemies, so be careful. Those are stun grenades. They are often used in sensitive operations such as freeing hostages and that sort of thing. Sometimes they are called flash bangs or sound and flash grenades. They make a big flash and lots of noise, which will disorient and disable your opponents, temporarily. You have to understand that they won't kill the bad guys, but just stun them for a few seconds. Use them wisely. That's a chaff grenade. It's a special grenade that disperses thin, narrow metallic strips of various lengths and frequency responses. It can confuse electronic equipment. It will be useful against machines which depend upon electronic sensors. Naturally, for it to be effective, you must use it before you are attacked. If you are expecting an attack, spread the chaff beforehand. You found some grenades. Just pull the pin and it explodes after five seconds. You can get a lot done during those five seconds, Snake. How you use them is up to you. Good. You found a SOCOM. That's a Special Operations Command Pistol. It's a 45 caliber pistol with plenty of stopping power. It's also equipped with a LAM for nighttime combat. If you hold down the weapon button, you can train the laser sight on the enemy to help you aim. If you find a SOCOM suppressor, you can equip that too. That pistol was designed specifically for use by special forces, so I think it will be useful. Some people find it a little heavy and hard to use, but it shouldn't be a problem for you. What can I do for you, Snake? Snake in China, they say. You must cross the river before you tell the crocodile he has bad bread. Do you know what that means? It means that the wise man avoids danger first. Use your brain to avoid traps and stay away from the enemy. You caught... got there? A cardboard box? Yeah. Remember that trick? That's the snake I remember. Those poor fools won't know what hit them. Good. Looks like it worked.
You're the arms tech president, Kenneth Baker, right? Don't worry, I'm here to save you. No, no, don't touch it! C4. Right, touch that wire and the C4 will blow up along with the old man. So you're the one that the boss keeps talking about. You. Special Operations Foxhound. Revolver Ocelot. I've been waiting for you, Solid Snake. Now we'll see if the man can live up to the legend. This is the greatest handgun ever made. The Colt Single Action Army. Six bullets, more than enough to kill anything that moves. Now I'll show you why they call me... Revolver. But to you, 
I understand the bullet you see. I make them go where I want them. I love to reload during a battle. There's nothing like that. You're pretty good. Just what I'd expect from the man with the same code as the boss. It's been a long time since I had such a good fight. But I'm just getting warmed up. What? My hand! Stealth camouflage. Can't you even die right? You were lucky. We'll meet again! Who are you? I like you. I have no name. That... that exoskeleton! Can you talk? Who are you? I'm not one of them. The DARPA chief told me he gave them his detonation code. What about yours? Oh, I get it. Jim sent you. You're, you're from the Pentagon. Answer my question. What about your code? There's no time. I... talked. What? Now the terrorists have both codes and can launch any time. It's not like I didn't fight. I managed to resist Psycho Mantis's mind probe. He couldn't read you? How'd you do it? Surgical implants in my brain. Surgical implants? Kind of like a psychic insulation. Everyone who knows these top secret codes has it. Even the DARPA chief? Of course. But the DARPA chief said Mantis got his code by reading his mind. Are you sure you heard him right? Yeah, I'm sure. In that case, how did they get your code? I never had any training on how to resist torture. <coughs> it looks like he had some fun with you, all right. Oh, he's not human. I tell you, he loved every second of it. What happened to your arm? He broke it. 
Looks like you're more than even now. His was sliced off. Ha. Huh. You're a funny man. So the DARPA chief, is he okay? Dead. What? I can't be. You know, that's not what you promised, Jim. Now you want to shut me up? Oh. Calm down. What's wrong with you? I just told you I was here to save you. Uh, I didn't kill the DARPA chief. He had a heart attack or something. A heart attack? Oh, don't be a fool. Anyway, the terrorists have both codes now. Those boys are totally insane. They wouldn't hesitate to launch. I agree, but what do they really want? Oh, who knows? Maybe they're like us in the arms industry, always looking forward to the next good war. Well, I'm not gonna let these maniacs start a war today. You still have the card keys? Card keys? To override the detonation code, I heard you had them. No, not anymore. What? Who does then? Not the terrorists? No, that woman. Woman? Who? A soldier that was thrown in prison along with me. A female soldier, it must be. She said she had just joined up as a new recruit. They threw her in prison because she refused to take part in the rebellion. A new recruit? Could that be the Colonel's niece? I gave her the key. Looks like she managed to break out of here though. I hope she's okay. I'm sure she is. She's green, but as tough as they come. But how did you know she escaped? I was in contact with her by Kodak. Until I was tied up here, that is. Kodak? Yes, she stole it from the guard. If she still has it, you should be able to contact her. I'm sure she still has it. What frequency was she at? Oh, yeah. Let me tell you, it's... Oh, sorry. I forgot. Damn! Oh, that's right. It should be on the back of the CD case. Try to contact her. I'll contact her right away. But tell me, if this doesn't work, is there some other way to prevent the missile launch? Hmm. You need to find Hal Emmerich, one of my employees. Who's that? The team leader of the Metal Gear Rex project. A genius at engineering, but a little bit of an oddball. If there's anyone who can figure out how to stop Metal Gear from launching, it's him. What if he can't come up with anything? You'll have to destroy it. Emmerich knows how to destroy Metal Gear. Where is this Emmerich? Well, he's probably being held somewhere in the Nuclear Warhead Storage Building. It's north from here. That's where he worked. I understand, but why Metal Gear? The Nuclear Age ended with the turn of the Millennium. Oh, you're wrong. The threat of nuclear war isn't gone. In fact, it's greater than it's ever been. The amount of spent nuclear fuel and plutonium is increasing even today. Listen, have you ever seen a warehouse full of nuclear material? No. Drums and drums of nuclear waste stacked this high, as far as you can see. Because there's still no real way to dispose of the stuff. So they just close the lid and try to pretend like it'll go away? Uh, essentially, yes. And they're not even doing a good job of storing it. Many of the drums are corroded, with nuclear waste seeping out of them. Unbelievable. Not only that, but several pounds of muff are reported every year. Muff? It stands for material unaccounted for. It proves that there's a large and well-organized black market in nuclear materials. Furthermore, since the end of the Cold War, Russian nuclear engineers in particular are out of work with no way to turn. In other words, there's plenty of available nuclear material and scientists for making a bomb. We live in an age when any small country can have a nuclear weapons program. What about the other superpowers? Uh, Russia and China still maintain a significant nuclear presence. Complete nuclear disarmament is an impossibility. To maintain our own policy of deterrence, we need a weapon of overwhelming power. You mean Metal Gear. Yes. You know our industry suffered quite a blow as a result of the cuts in military budgets due to this so-called peace. I remember hearing a lot about mergers and takeovers among the big weapons makers. Yes. And after my company lost their bid to produce the Air Force's next line of fighter jet, the Metal Gear system was our last ace in the hole. That's why we pushed to have Metal Gear developed as a black project. Black project? Secret projects paid for by the Pentagon's black budget. 
you can avoid a lot of red tape and get a great lead time on your weapons production. And no one can bother you. Not even those bleeding heart liberals on the military oversight committee. Bribes. I prefer to think of it as good business. Anyway, Metal Gear was going to be formally adopted after the results of this exercise were analyzed. I don't give a crap about you and your company. Yes, that's about what I'd expect from a grunt like you. Here, th this is what you came for, right? What's that? An optical disc. It's all here. The main hard drive was destroyed by gunfire. This is the only remaining copy of the data. What kind of data? All the data collected from this exercise. Don't play dumb. I know you were sent to get this. I hid it from that sadistic maniac while he was torturing me. They don't know this disc exists. Make sure you report this to Jim. To your boss. I'll give you my card too. It'll open up all security level 2 doors. Can you walk? No. No, you go on without me. They got my password. They don't want anything else from me. I have one more question. Who or what was that ninja thing? It looked like you knew something. That ninja? That was Foxhound's Dark Little Secret. Dark Little Secret? An experimental genome soldier. You know him? You should ask Dr. Naomi Hunter from Foxhound. She knows better than I. Naomi? You've got to stop them. If it goes public, my company and I are finished. What? Doesn't Metal Gear use currently existing technology? Metal Gear itself does, but... What? What did you do to me? Pentagon bastards! So, they, they actually went and did it! What are you talking about? They, they, they are just using you for... What the hell? Colonel, are you listening? Now he's dead too. I have no idea. Don't lie to me. It looked like another heart attack, but... Some kind of poison? Well, there are lots of drugs that can cause a heart attack in large doses. For example, potassium chloride or dioxides, but we won't be able to tell without doing an autopsy. Damn! Snake, I want you and Meryl to work together. Can I trust her? More than you can trust me. Get in contact with her. Snake, there's a lot of electrical interference coming from there. It should be okay if you do burst transmission like us, but normal transmission is probably impossible. Try moving away from that area. Snake, get a hold of yourself. Naomi, what the hell was that ninja thing? A member of Foxhound? No. Are you sure? Yes, we have no one like that in our unit. Is that right? Snake, I'm counting on you.
Alpha Chief and President Baker. So now the terrorists know both detonation codes. Yeah, and on top of that, they both died right in front of my eyes. Snake, now that the terrorists have both detonation codes, the only way to stop a nuclear launch is to either use the detonation code release keys that Merrill's holding, or... Or find the Metal Gear chief engineer that President Baker mentioned, Al Emmerich. In any case, you should contact Merrill by codec. Wasn't her frequency written on the back of the CD case? First, the DARPA chief, and then President Baker die of a heart attack? Yeah, smells pretty rotten to me. Master, do you know anything? No, but there's definitely something going on. Keep your eyes open out there. It is just like Baker said. We are facing increasing danger from stored nuclear materials. You see, there are three elements necessary in the manufacture of nuclear weapons. Nuclear materials, nuclear engineers, and manufacturing technology. All three of them can easily be acquired by either legal or illegal means. If you have enough money, that is. What can I do for you, Snake? 